What's up, Volunteer Roadshow? It's Matt Downs coming to you once again. Hope you guys are doing well on a Monday afternoon. The day after the brackets were announced yesterday and, and first weekend of SEC baseball. And a lot of stuff went on this, this past week with the University of Tennessee. So let's dive into it really quick. So Tennessee baseball this past weekend went down to the plains of Auburn and got swept by Auburn, which honestly, you know, I was really disappointed in that because, you know, Tennessee baseball has done so well up to the conference play. You know, we, we were 17-1 and entering in conference play. We swept UNC Asheville in a midweek series. Tennessee's had their best start till this past Friday since 1997 before conference play. And going into this series, this past weekend series against Auburn, you know, I was kind of looking for Tennessee to hopefully be able to compete and be able to hopefully steal a game or two out of Auburn. Well, that didn't happen. Tennessee got swept. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that's not what we need, especially in any baseball setting. For any SEC team, you cannot afford to get swept um, because if you get swept, it puts you three games behind. So Tennessee right now sitting 0-3 in conference play, 17-4 and overall. Uh, Tennessee's got to get things fixed. They, they, they played well at times during this weekend. It, Auburn's the best team Tennessee has played so far this season. And the season's still young, but there's a long way to go. Tennessee's got to get those things fixed. Tennessee's pitching staff did, did pretty well, especially on Friday night. Uh, Tennessee did well until the seventh inning when the defense gave up some errors. Last year, Tennessee defensively led the nation in errors made in college baseball. And it reared its ugly head. Tennessee's done pretty well up to this past weekend with that. But Tennessee's still got a long way to go. A um, lot of good other teams out there. Tennessee this past weekend with getting swept fell out of the rankings except for the uh, USA Today coaches poll. So Tennessee is now sitting at number 22. So Tennessee is no longer in the D1 and the Baseball America polls. Uh, like I told you guys earlier, there's a half a dozen baseball polls for college ball, and Tennessee's sitting in one of them. So uh, Tennessee get South Carolina this weekend and get ETSU in a midweek series on the road in Johnson City. So uh, that's it for baseball. I'll talk more about baseball as the season goes. Uh, basketball, well, we beat Mississippi State. We beat Kentucky. Uh, but we lost to Auburn. and lost to a really good Auburn program. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And some Vol fans may get mad at me for saying this, but here's the thing about it. You know, we we played well all year. We, we played some really good teams at the end of the stretch, and we lost those games. And give credit to Auburn. Auburn is a really, really good basketball team. They shot lights out yesterday. They've been doing that. They played four straight games. They were just shooting the ball very, very well. And it's hard to stop teams like that, especially a team that shoots the three that like Auburn does. Um, I mean, what can I mean? What can you do? Um, you know, especially you know Tennessee there at the end of the game started trying to make a little bit of a push down by 18. Tennessee dwindles it down a little bit, but Auburn keeps matching them, uh, making threes. And Tennessee, I think, just ran out of time, ran out of a little bit of gas. But that's okay because. There's still the main prize still out there, and that's the national championship. And in the last, what, 10 years, I read a stat saying seven out of the last 10 national champions uh, in men's basketball did not win their conference tournament. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, I saw the bracket. Tennessee gets Colgate on Friday afternoon, and um, we'll see how it goes for the tournament. We'll, we'll see. It's fun. It's a fun time of year, especially for you basketball fans for the next three weeks. Uh, Tennessee's got a tough bracket. I'll be honest with you guys. It's a really tough bracket. And they're with Virginia, who sits as a number one seed. And then you've got teams like Cincinnati, Iowa, Villanova, uh, Purdue, uh, that also sit in that bracket with Tennessee and sets up for some good matchups. But uh, it's going to be a long way to go for Tennessee, I think. And can Tennessee make it, make it to the Elite Eight? I think they can. Can they get to the Final Four? Possibly. Um, you know, it really gets tough for Tennessee in the Sweet 16. Uh, but we'll see how that goes a little bit. I know the SEC's got, what, seven teams in the conference, seven teams out of the conference make the NCAA tournament. So we'll see how it's going to be when, um, 
that that goes on. I know you really can't make a prediction for the basketball bracket because it gets busted every year at some point. Um, Lady Vols today just got announced about 30 minutes ago. Uh, they will be in the women's tournament playing UCLA. Lady Vols drew a number 11 seed. So uh, we'll see how far Lady Vols can go. The Lady Vols take on number 6 UCLA. Uh, it's tough. It's going to be tough for Lady Vols. What can I say? I mean, being an 11 seed, I think that's the lowest Tennessee's ever been uh, in, in the women's tournament. So Lady Vols definitely have a tough road to hoe. I think it buys Holly Warlick one more year at least. Um, to see how things go to get it turned around. Hopefully the Lady Vols can make a run in the tournament. Um, at least try to make some kind of push to kind of end the season a little bit better than what we ended in the regular season and in the uh, SEC tournament. So we'll see how that goes um, here pretty soon. I know Catfish probably come on here later on and talk about it and that type of stuff too. Football right now, still going through spring ball right now. During this week, uh, the University of Tennessee is on spring break, so there is no football practices going on for this week. It will pick back up next week. Uh, and here pretty soon, we're going to be having our spring game. So uh, Tennessee's already in full pads practicing. You get three days in shorts and helmet, and Tennessee's been in uh, full pads last couple of days. Heard some good things from Coach Pruitt talking about ball security has been pretty well during the spring and uh, that type of stuff. You, you want to see that happen. I know last year we had issues uh, fumbling the ball at times, and it looks like right now, by the words of Coach Pruitt, that we're taking care of the ball pretty well right now. Um, so we'll see how it goes. You really can't get an evaluation on a football team in the spring. Uh, you kind of have to wait till the summer and everything to happen when all that stuff goes on. And definitely after a spring game, you can get an idea what the team's going to look like. So that's the information for you guys on Tennessee baseball, basketball, football. One thing I'm going to be doing here pretty soon on Volunteer Roadshow for you guys is kind of do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through and talk about some things uh, sports-related, some with Tennessee, some with some other things in sports, kind of other topics. I know Couch Coach is kind of doing an early season uh, prediction. He's done it for Tennessee, Bama, Clemson. Um, I know, um, you know, and also um, Pigskin Pete is also doing some other stuff as well some other sports topics. I want to do some stuff about UT, kind of talk about some old seasons Tennessee's had in the past a little bit and kind of reminisce on that because we do love our history and we do love our tradition at the University of Tennessee. So I think I may go through a couple of special seasons of Tennessee and kind of talk about them for you guys. And I know Major League Baseball starts next week. I'll give you guys my predictions for the uh, – 2019 Major League Baseball season for you baseball fans. If you guys don't know, I'm a St. Louis Cardinals fan, and I give you an idea. I think St. Louis can turn it around this year. I know we struggled the last two years, but I think St. Louis can make a run to the playoff this year. But uh, I'll do some stuff like that for you guys a little bit here during the off season to keep you guys interacted and excited and things like that. Um, also, if you guys haven't checked out the interview that Catfish did with Billy Ratliff, you need to go check that out. And also, thanks to uh, Billy Ratliff coming on. Going to be a co-host with Catfish here on Volunteer Row Show. Really, really excited about that. He's a ball legend. I can still remember being eight years old in Tennessee in that Arkansas game where he recovered that fumble. Uh, I can remember, you know, Martin throwing the ball incomplete. We're down, and I'm sitting there crying. You know, we're down 24-22. I'm crying. You know, as an eight-year-old kid, and all of a sudden Billy Ratliff recovers the fumble, and those tears become tears of joy, and we go on to win the national championship. So, uh, thanks uh, for you, thanks Billy for for that making that memory for me and Vol fans as well. Uh, very special. So, I'll let you guys later. I'll see y'all down the road. Y'all be good, and as always, GBO. And I guarantee you, Vol's gonna make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. I guarantee you that. See y'all later.